Все, мы уже снимаем, типа, классно вообще. Hello and welcome to Aspen Cookie, my friends. I've been promising you elk tomahawk and I'm going to deliver it today. Look at this beauty right here. It's a wild game meat. Bought it from a local butcher. The recipe is going to be simple. I'm going to send this baby to the smoker for about 30 minutes or so. It's fairly thin, about an inch or so. So 30 minutes would be enough and then we will finish it off on the skillet. Let's get cooking, my friends. Guys, Q-Rub is super simple. Salt, dehydrated garlic, spices, I have some paprika in it, sugar, and then a little bit of uh, black pepper. This is, this is it, Q-Rub. I'm going to sprinkle it onto our steak. I don't want to use a whole lot of different kinds of spices on it because I actually want to taste the uh, flavor of this uh, wild game. So I'm gonna let it sit for three to four minutes right now and absorb and let the cure up do its thing. And, uh, and then this baby going to a smoker at 225 for about 30 minutes or so. Guys, I've been researching some tomahawk uh, elk recipes and it's so hard to come by. Um, basically, this is my uh, improvisation on how I would see this elk being cooked. Um, it, well, hopefully it will help someone, you know, so um, hopefully you guys will enjoy. While our elk is being, uh, getting ready in the smoker, I decided to uh, do a side dish and it's going to be super delicious. Country potatoes, what can be better? Let's get going on that. All right, first things first, just pre-cut potatoes. Probably gonna do them like so, just on the fourth. Guys, this is the potato size we need right here. We have about two pounds in here. I'm setting it to boil for 10 minutes. All right, guys, our potatoes are ready. And it's been about 10 minutes, maybe just shy of it, you know, but overall, um, we are ready. One clove of garlic goes in. I'm going to add it right in. I have one tablespoon of flour here with a, a little bit of a mountain on the top right here. I'm adding it, two potatoes right now. We have some garlic powder right here. Add that in. Dill weed. Dill weed. Let's go. I'm going to add also a little bit of rosemary. Now, chop this baby up. It doesn't need to be too fine. Our potatoes. The salt. I'm go ahead and add that in. Go ahead and toss it. Give it a good mix. We have some avocado oil in this baking sheet and we're going to go ahead and add our potatoes to it. Let's go. 400 degrees, 30 minutes in the oven, then broil. Really depends on your oven, but about five minutes of broil. Guys, and after about 30 minutes um, at 400 degrees and then about five minutes of broil, here's what we have left. Oh man, delicious. Perfect. Woo! Hot, but tasty. Mmm. Crunch potatoes. Love these. About 30 minutes have passed. Now we're going to finish it on cast iron skillet. Let's get to it. You guys, our cast iron is ready, and our, tom our tomahawk is going right on. Guys, let's go ahead and give it a flip after just a couple of minutes on the side. Perfect. Look at that color. Yeah, butter, rosemary, garlic, all doing its beautiful thing. I'm gonna start basting here in a quick second. Folks, our tomahawk is ready. We are going to slice it right off the bone. We just let it rest for about seven minutes, maybe almost 10 minutes. Go ahead and slice it. Mm. Delicious. Well, elk is very tender. It has pretty much no fat whatsoever in it. So it is a little bit drier than beef. It's still pretty damn juicy. You guys see that? Give it a try. Mmm, yeah, yum, delicious. Country store potatoes, guys. Elk, 
perfect success for today. If you guys like what you see, give this video a thumbs up. Give the video a thumb down, you know, comment in the video below if you would have done it better or differently, and we'll see you in more videos for you.